Recent studies show that youth crime is on the decline. The wave of super predators was a myth. A few high profile incidents of youth violence in the 1990s are what led to predictions that a wave of youthful super predators was coming. A series of get tough laws were passed to protect society from them. These laws made it easier to try youth as adults and send them into the adult criminal justice system. Most states expanded their laws to try youth under the age of 18 in adult courts. Giving them adult sentences puts these youth at risk of being placed in adult jails and prisons, despite the fact that most of their crimes are nonviolent. It was just bang, slam the doors, punish this kid. As a juvenile, if you do an adult crime, you do adult time. I didn't know that they were juvenile crimes. If they are juvenile crimes, I like for somebody to point them out to me. The more that we try youth as adults, the more we'll continue to see violence as we've never seen it before. A new adult came in and Jonathan said that these other adults that were in there took this new guy like back to the back somewhere and he said, Mom, I could hear him screaming and he said it was so creepy and he said when the guy came back out he said I couldn't even recognize him he was beat up so bad. I think anybody who's thinking about putting a young person in an adult facility with adult offenders should think about what they think it would be like for their own kid. Would you think they'd come out better? Would you think they'd be safe in there? Would you think basically they'd be made into a more hardened criminal and mm -hmm. they'd be in, in danger every second of the day? Certifying juveniles as adults is one of the most tragic things that our society has ever inflicted on the young people in it. And I think, you know, the, the true tragedy is that the world really isn't concerned about these juveniles, that they become invisible. If you're young and you go to prison, you essentially become a part of the invisible mass of people who are expected to suffer silently, to not get rehabilitated because there aren't any rehabilitative services in prisons. And then you're expected to come back into society and behave normally. In recent years, research has concluded that transferring youth to the adult criminal justice system significantly increases crime, and rather than improve public safety, produces the opposite effect. It's time to change these laws to reflect the research. Instead of like being rehabilitated or whatever, it's probably made me be able to be a better criminal than like when I was because I've learned like way more from being around people that have offended their whole life than being in a juvenile place where we would probably all be the same and like not have had too much experience with it. I've been a child advocate for almost 30 years and a lot of the work I've done has been around children in adult jails and it's clear from the experience of representing parents of children who've committed suicide and representing children who have been physically and sexually assaulted in jails that those are very dangerous places for children. Children don't belong in them. And so the only real smart way to handle all this is to not hold children in adult facilities at all. In the United States of America, when did that ever become right? And when you sentence an adult to prison, that's one thing. But when you sentence a child to an adult prison, you're not only sentencing them to the prison term, you're sentencing them to legal child abuse because they're sexually assaulted, they're physically assaulted, they're tormented, they're scared to death. Enough to where, like Jonathan, they kill themselves. You might as well just sentence them to death. You might as well just say it because that's what happens. And if they don't physically die, they mentally die. I mean, I've read so many accounts of kids in the adult jails where, you know, after several days, there's no expression left in their eyes. There's no expression left in their face. They're just dead inside. So adult facilities are scary places for kids. Either way you go, if you put them in with the adults, they're in danger. If you put them in isolation, they're in danger. That's why kids are 36 times more likely to commit suicide in an adult facility than in a juvenile facility. It's a very scary place. They don't take care of the young people the way the juvenile system does. And the juvenile system's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than the adult system.
A study published by the Federal Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, led by a non-federal task force on community preventive services, finds that transferring youth to the adult criminal justice system significantly increases crime and rather than improving public safety, produces the opposite effect. Youth who have been previously tried as adults are, on average, 34% more likely to reoffend than youth retained in the juvenile justice system. There's been um, a growing amount of research that has examined and compared children prosecuted as adults to children that were prosecuted um, and incarcerated in the juvenile system. Um, what most of the research has found, actually, is that there's either no difference in the recidivism rates or that the youth prosecuted and incarcerated as adults actually recidivate more often and faster than comparably situated youth who were prosecuted and incarcerated in the uh, juvenile system. So essentially, I think that we should find better ways to deal with young people committing crimes so that we could form them, so that we could help them become better members of society, productive members of society, and not just more victims.